Hello chess fans, today I have a really good move by White here in this position for you. I called it a golden move because it is really nice and it is in an endgame between the top women uh, grandmasters Goyachkina against Gunina. Played in the candidates and White to move here. If you want uh, to solve it for yourself you can pause the video now. And I'm back in some seconds. Good luck. Okay, guys, I hope you found the really nice knight move. Knight to h4. A big surprise because black can take this knight with the king and the rook. But if you see the initial position, white once the queen, this pawn, who stands on h7, and if black does nothing after knight h4, this pawn will simply be a new queen, and the position is super winning for white, of course. That's why we have to look at the variations. Let's say king takes h4, then we queen with check, and it is winning, of course. So the threat is h8 and the rook can take, we could say, or what do you think? But now we have an intermediate exchange starting with this check and we simply exchange the rook and then we queen also with check and this is winning too. Okay. Let's look what can black do. He can give revenge checks after knight h4. But these checks finally go out. And for instance this. And now black doesn't have checks anymore. Okay. And this is the gold move of this nice knight on f5 who goes to the rim and wants to blockade the h-file. He wants to help his colleague on h7 to go to a new queen. And however this black army takes the brave knight here, in each variation he loses because if the king takes, the king disturbs the rook, and if the rook takes, we have this rook check and the exchange, and then we queen. And this nice knight sacrifice, this silent move in this endgame to h4 is really, really nice. Indeed, a true golden move in a long endgame between Goryachkina and Gunina. Okay guys, I hope you liked this nice endgame tactics and if you want, we see us in the next video. Until then, bye bye.